One thing that all vehicles have in common is tyres. Doesn't matter if you want to go away for a weekend or whether you want to do a trip around Australia. Tyre choice is paramount. So how adventurous do you want to be? If you just want to stay on the blacktop, a set of highway terrain tyres may be perfectly suitable. If you want to open up a wider variety of road conditions, you may want to move to a set of all-terrain tyres. And if you want to be even more adventurous, maybe a set of mud-terrain tyres are better suited to your needs. I've spent many years as a four-wheel drive tour operator, and in my experience, the different tyres have got really different applications. For highway terrain tyres, perfectly suited to the blacktop, they do a brilliant job out there, but they may not work too well on the gravel because they could be a little bit too soft, or they may be not quite as puncture resistant as you would like. When we go to an all-terrain tyre, much more suited to gravel roads, and we find that the tread pattern being a little bit closer is a little more resistant to punctures. And if you're going to head into an area that is muddy, slushy, big mud holes, then maybe a mud terrain tyre is more suited to your application. The tread pattern on the mud terrains is nice and open and it will self-clean really easily in those conditions, but it is more susceptible to punctures on the higher speed gravel roads. So during my days as a four-wheel drive tour operator, my personal choice was to use an all-terrain tyre. Why? because it gave me great longevity whilst out on the highway, and it also gave me the ability to confidently drive in a wider variety of terrains. We've looked at the tyres on the vehicle, but what about the tyres on the trailer? Do they actually need to match? Well, if the tyre size on the trailer allows it, and you're travelling further remote, where the likelihood of spare tyres is not that great, then probably it's a really good idea. The important fact to remember here is that the trailer tyres are not being driven. So this will give you greater flexibility when it comes to tyre choice. We would recommend that you use a light truck tyre, which is an all-terrain pattern. This will give you the ability to better carry the weight and they're more durable as well. Tire pressures are always going to be one of those great campfire discussions. What tire pressures to use and where. On the compliance plate in the trailer and on a tire placard normally found in the driver's door of the vehicle will be the recommended tire pressures for both the vehicle and the trailer. So how do we choose tire pressures for a given surface? Well luckily the tire manufacturers have given us plenty of guidance for this. So if we're going to be travelling on a high-speed gravel road, something like the Unidata track or maybe the Birdsville track, then the tyre manufacturers would say we would use a 20% reduction from highway pressures. Say this tyre is at 36 psi, that 20% reduction would result in around about 28 psi for gravel road use. The reason why the 20% rule works as a general rule of thumb is because the tyres are literally just a pressure vessel. It's not the tyres that carry the weight, it's the air inside them. Now the best analogy I can give for you for that is a air mattress. If I'm lying on an air mattress and it's inflated too hard, I'm going to have a terrible night's sleep. If it's too low, I may actually touch the ground through the mattress. But when it's inflated just right, I'm going to get a great night's sleep. How does that relate to our tyres then? Well, if we're on a corrugated road and the tyres are overinflated, we're going to get a lot of skip and movement out of both the car and the trailer, and it could be a safety issue for us. If the tyres are underinflated, there will be a lot of sidewall movement, and it may lead to overheating and premature failure. Of course, as always, if you're not sure about what pressures to run in any particular environment, have a chat with the manufacturer of your tyres to get the best and most accurate information. When we look at the combination that we have here, when we ran them over the Weybridge, the dual cab came in at 2,350 kilos. The camper trailer came in at 1,920. So what does that mean for our road pressures? On the front of the car, we had 35 psi. On the rear of the car, we had 40 psi. And for the camper trailer, 55 psi. When we then move into a dirt road situation with the same vehicle and trailer, 
and the same weights, we can adjust the tyre pressures to suit. This means that they're now 28 psi for the front tyres, 33 psi for the rear tyres and 45 psi for the trailer. As a result of dropping those tyre pressures for the dirt road, it's going to give us a little bit of extra tyre flexibility and some better traction. But remember, if we drop our pressures, we need to drop our speed. Australia gives you the opportunity for some fantastic long distance travel. But to get there safely, you have to rely on the performance of your tyres. When checking your tyres for signs of wear or damage, these are some of the things that you really should look for. Firstly, we're looking at the sidewalls. Don't forget you've got two. Don't miss the inside one. And here we're looking for cracks, nicks, damage, bulges, uh, anything that may cause an issue later on. Every tyre is going to have an element of wear. What you're aiming for is even wear. If you start to notice that your tyres have an uneven wear, you need to go looking for the reason. It could be a wheel alignment issue. It could be an overinflation. If they're overinflated, you'll have a wear strip down the centre. Underinflation, you'll have a wear strip on both edges. These could be the cause of your uneven wear of your tyres. If you notice any of these signs of wear, what it also means is you don't have the full tread in contact with the road surface. Part of ensuring that you have that even wear is diagonally rotating your tyres. Now don't forget the spare on your car and your trailer should be included in that rotation. The other thing to be aware of is the age of your tyre. Like all rubber, it gets old. You may have plenty of tread on the tyre, but you need to be considering the age. Every tyre has a stamp on it with the date of manufacture. And it's recommended about five or six years is the life of a tyre. Checking your tyres doesn't finish when you drive out your driveway. It's an ongoing thing for your tour. Checking them for nicks, cracks, anything that's happening along the road. This should be a daily check. I recommend you do it of an evening. When the tyres have cooled down and you've got plenty of time to sort out any issues so it doesn't delay your departure in the morning. You've had a fantastic trip. Time to store the trailer. A few things you can do to help preserve those tyres. Park it in out of direct sunlight if possible. Get the weight off those tyres by putting it up on its jack stands. Check, have that last little check of the tyres. Look for any nicks or damage so you've got plenty of warning about replacing them before your next holiday.